Hey guys, I'm Glenn and welcome to another Glenn Prince Tech video. Flagship devices have become really powerful to the point where many of us use our laptops less and less. It is said that with great power comes great responsibility, but it seems in the case of smartphones, replacing responsibility with expense is more appropriate. Just a few years ago, you would have called me crazy if I told you that a flagship device would cost upwards of $1,000. Now, it is even considered to be a steal to get one under that price point. My question to you is this. Is it worth buying a flagship smartphone brand new or used? Or does it make more sense to buy a mid-range device? Wait, was that more than one question? Anyways, before I answer, let's look at the difference between a flagship and a mid-range device. A flagship phone is the latest and greatest a company has to offer and caters to those who want the very best. It normally comes with the most up-to-date cameras, fastest processors, GPUs, premium build materials, all the bells and whistles. This also means that it's generally the most expensive phone in the company's lineup. Samsung's Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and Apple's newly released iPhone 12 Pro are good examples of what to expect from a flagship device. A mid-range device on the other hand targets those who are looking for the best value for money. These phones are usually not as feature-packed as flagships, but they still retain a few high-end features like the camera and CPU. Xiaomi Pocophone, OnePlus Nord, and the 2020 iPhone SE are all very capable phones which sell for less than $400. Before you buy a smartphone, you should ask yourself, what am I really going to be using my phone to do? If you're someone who uses your phone simply to make calls, send messages, and browse the internet, then buying a flagship device is a waste of your money as you won't be taking full advantage of the features available to you. On the other hand, if you're someone like me who uses their phone extensively for taking pics, recording videos, and consuming media, then a flagship device is best suited for you. But do you buy it brand new or used? Here are a few things to consider. First of all, there is nothing wrong in wanting to buy a newly released phone. As long as you can afford it, go ahead. Keep in mind that newly released flagship devices are normally expensive and untested by real world users. Who can forget iPhone 6 bending in people's pockets and the Galaxy Note 7 outdoing Apple by exploding in people's pockets? If you're looking to buy a new phone but don't want to spend flagship money, I recommend you buy a flagship phone from a couple years ago. For example, Samsung Galaxy Note 9 launched in 2018 at $1,000. Today, you can pick up a new one for under $450. I would say that's a pretty good deal. Most 2018 flagship phones will outperform newer mid-range devices. If you're looking to buy a used phone, ensure it's in good condition and the battery life is still good. You could end up saving as much as $300 on used flagship phones like iPhone 11 Pro Max and Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. We all look for different things in a smartphone and these manufacturers try their best to give us what we want in order for them to sell phones. In the end, the choice will always be yours to make. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'm working on a new tech series which should be dropping soon, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. As always, thanks so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one, peace.